decided to resign. Uh, people that talk with me know that I usually have short speeches, so uh, usually they're very lengthy. So I started to write one so I wouldn't put you into the next day. <laughs> He's judging me. <laughs> okay, this is indeed a special day for me. And I feel privileged to be here. It's amazing that at this point in my life, I am standing in front of all of you today. I grew up in an Italian American household in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Eventually, lived in Bayshore, Long Island, where my two brothers, Joseph and Anthony before getting married to my wife, Nancy. I get a little set now, but I don't mind him. My father, Antonio, and my mother, Vincenza, played a major role in my life. They instilled in us to be the best we can be by being respectful and dedicated to everything we do. I remember when I told my father I wanted to play the drums. He immediately said, no, <laughs> but you can learn to play the accordion. <laughs> and I replied, no way. He said, well, how about the violin? <laughs> he eventually let me pursue my dream. He helped me join a local drum corps from Long Island called the Babylon Islanders. It's here where all it all started for me. At the age of 10 years old, I nervously joined the corps and played bass drum. And after a short time, I made snare. Today, humbly, I'm standing before you, and I'm as nervous as I was at my first rehearsal. <laughs> after years with the Islanders, I played snare drum in St. Rita's Brass Band, and went, went on to arranging and teaching many drum corps and competitive marching bands throughout my career. This is an incredible milestone, and the journey continues. I'm still enjoying my involvement, and I'm as busy as ever. I would like to thank my family, my wife Nancy and my son my, and my sons Michael and Jeffrey and my daughter Cupcake, Melissa. They are the reason for my success in drum corps. Nancy's always encouraged me and is very supportive to all my endeavors. I love you. I would like to thank everybody sitting here today for making all of this possible. With your support, this wouldn't have happened, and I thank you all. A special thank you to the following individuals who definitely had an impact on me. Don Friesen, Eric Perel, Tom Martin, <coughs> Hy Dreitzer, Carmen Clooney, all the world Trump Corps Ball of Famous, for believing in me and for the support and guidance. I have been very fortunate to have been involved with many colleagues in my Trump Corps career who have been the greatest support as anyone could have had. My best friend, Bob Vitti, Steve Baglino, Frank Doherty, Gene Bennett, Kevin Hassan, Scott Johnson, Frank Nash, Wayne Downey, Joe Giswab, Rick Morey, Bob Glover, Rick Martin, the list goes on and on and on. Besides working with people, and just working for a good group of people has been a very uh, joy to me. Again, I want to thank all of the members of the Hall of Fame for this great honor. I am truly humbled. Thank you. <laughs>